what's up it's Jessica welcome back to my channel if you're new please subscribe right here so you don't miss out on any more videos today's video is going to be a get ready with me I did this look a few days ago posted this picture on Instagram and you guys went wild okay y'all was hitting me up on snapchat Instagram and even on YouTube asking me to recreate this look you wanted details on the makeup you wanted details on the hair so I said this look was relatively simple and easy to do so I didn't mind coming on camera and doing it for you guys this is like my go-to everyday summer makeup it's super simple minimal products and it's an instant slut so if you want to see how I created this simple beat look along with this gorgeous hair keep watching all right so I'm gonna start off priming my skin my face is moisturized already um, my hair is a hot mess but we're not gonna be talk about that right now I'm gonna take this primer by I think it's pronounced pure or puree pure something like that it's a glowing kind of illuminating primer and it gives like a glowing effect I also like to go in with this Mac paint pot and lay in low right where my smile line is because I get creasing there and I find that I'm kind of liking this method it kind of helps it from creasing so if you have that same issue with your makeup separating right at your smile line, try this girl, it may work. Everything you are, I Next, I'm gonna go on with this L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Foundation in the shade Classic Tan 109. I'm gonna go on with this brush. This is a foundation brush by Pixie. I just got it from Target. Hey, can I say again? brush though okay $15 foundation brush by pixie get this brush y'all it's the bomb yeah this foundation has really incredible coverage I didn't color correct or anything like that because I kind of want it to look like my skin I want it to look like my skin but better um, that's the whole point of this like everyday makeup look at least for me and so you can still see like my moles you can still see a little bit of blemishes peeking through but it's not like you know it's not super dark. It just looks very, very natural. I'm going to take my beauty blender that needs to be washed and I'm going to damp it and just set my foundation. Next, I'm going to highlight with this LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Pure Beige. with this banana powder I haven't used this in a while but I'm gonna be using it today this brush by elf this is their blush brush and I'm just sat sat <laughs> pat it into my skin and this is my absolute favorite bronzer right now I use this every day well not every day but every time I do my makeup this is my go-to bronzer I'm just gonna take this NYX brush, put it in there and I'm going to move on to my struggle brows. And for my eyebrows, I'm just using this NYX Duo Pencil in the shade Black. And then I go in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills uh, Dip Brow Pomade. Okay, so now I'm going to clean it up with this MAC Studio Finish Concealer. Alright, so we're moving on to eyes. And I did something extremely simple. I did not use eyeshadow. I simply went back into my Stella Bronzer. This one right here. And literally just put that on my eyelid. And what that does is it kind of takes that tiredness out your eye and kind of defines it without really doing too much to your eyes. So I'm going to grab this blending brush by NYX. And when I say this is simple, truly simple. I'm really focusing on adding more depth to the crease and then kind of bringing it down to the lid. 
and it makes the brow bones stand out more. So it looks like you put a lot of effort into doing your makeup, but you didn't, girl. And it's a great way to warm up the eye without adding a lot of, you know, shadows and stuff, especially if you're not too familiar with shadows or like I said, you're crunch for time and you just want to do something to your face. It's a great way to kind of warm up your eye. And then I'm just taking this Rimmel liner. This is one of my favorite eyeliners and literally just lining my waterline. Now I'm gonna go in with my Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara and just add that to my lashes. So now I'm gonna set my entire face with this powder by, this is by Sephora. This is their Micro Smooth Powder. The shade is Deep 56. I'm gonna take this Sephora brush. Um, this is the Pro Precision Powder Brush um, number 59. And just simply dab that in. This is like a baked powder. And it gives you a very nice, clean skin look. Okay, so now we're gonna add some color to the face with this blush by Black Radiance. This is, I had this blush for so long, I'm not gonna even tell you how long I had it because it's kinda embarrassing, but anyways, it still works, girl, that's all that matters. This is Toasted Almond, perfect for brown girls. It just makes you have this nice, warm, beautiful glow. So I'm gonna add this, I'm looking for my brush, where's it at? I'm gonna add it with this brush right here and it's simply just going to warm the skin up. already warming my skin up it's giving me this very summer toasty toasted look even with my jailhouse braids I still feel like I'm slaying just a little bit all right so on top of that I'm gonna add another blush girl and when I tell y'all this blush is L-I-F-E blush copper by Becca get your life brown girls this blush right here will have you looking like a sun-kissed almond toasted chocolate Hershey bar that's been sitting in the sun for like two years baking and caking so I just dab my brush in here and it has a little bit of shimmer to it so I just do it right where I'm gonna put my highlight just a little bit above my contour it is so gorgeous like I don't even know if this camera is doing it right oh my god tell me that's not life it's just the perfect brown girl blush I don't know what else to say it's it's amazing okay it's bomb and I'm just gonna diffuse it with this powder brush so everything just looks like it's I'm blushed from within <laughs> moving on to highlight I'm gonna highlight with another favorite lately this is the Becca champagne pop I just got on this bandwagon I bought her last week and I ain't put her down since because she is life I'm gonna take this NYX brush and just tap it in there and then take this NYX spray to get it kind of like you know a little damp and then apply it look at that you now i'm going to apply mascara to my bottom lashes so now i'm gonna set my face with the urban decay all-nighter makeup spray moving on to lips i am going to line my lips with this ColourPop pencil this is k one of my favorite lip pencils then I'm gonna go in with two lips by ColourPop, my favorite lipstick or lip stain at the moment. I wear this like almost every day, y'all. This is gorgeous. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with King K. This is the Kylie Cosmetics. Um, her liquid lipstick and I'm gonna go in with King K and This is like a gorgeous metallic color And then yes a 
another one. I'm gonna go on top of that with the Kylie Cosmetics Air. And it's gorgeous. It's like this gorgeous shimmering pinkish champagne color. And I'm gonna apply that right on top. I'm gonna take this necklace, cause I want a necklace with this look. This one, I got it from Forever 21 a long time ago. It's a regular necklace. Oops, that was loud. It's a regular necklace, but I'm gonna wear it as a choker. Cause I'm just feeling that way today. Now onto the hair, which is the star of this entire makeup look, this entire get ready with me, the hair, right? So the hair that I wore, y'all went absolutely crazy over the hair. It is, and I actually went crazy over it too. So I was watching some reviews on YouTube and I saw it and I was like, okay, I need to buy that wig right now. It was sold out everywhere. I think I got the last one on this particular site. It is the Outre Penny wig. Here she is. She is so gorgeous. I got her in a 1B30 and I think she's absolutely gorgeous. This is like the go-to summer hair, especially if like you don't really know what you're gonna do with your hair. It's a half wig so you're able to leave your hair out which is what I did in the photo that you guys saw. But for this particular day, I'm not gonna leave my hair out. I'm actually just going to use it as a full-on wig and I'm going to show y'all how I do it. So I already kind of like fingered her out and so now I'm just gonna put her on. And she does come with combs, but since I have shaved sides, I'm gonna wear her differently. I'm gonna wear her like this. She has combs right here, so I'm just gonna attach the combs to my struggle braids. <laughs> They're a little raggedy, but who cares? And then I'm going to actually let one of the braids show even though it's not a fresh braid, I'm just gonna let it show. Just cause I'm, I'm feeling that way today. You can definitely leave your edges out, um, but since I am not doing that today, what I like to do is just kinda like um, tease the roots so it looks more frizzier and it blends better. And this, wearing my wig halfway on my head allows me to show my undercut. <laughs> favorite makeup to do because it's super simple quick beat slay that you can do in minutes and this hair yo this hair if I can find this hair I'll link it down below along with all the products that I use but I thank you so much for watching and if you enjoyed it y'all know what to do give me a thumbs up okay hit me up with a thumbs up and also let me know in the comments section down below how you're feeling and digging this look and leave me some uh product suggestions too like what are your favorite products that you're trying out this summer because girl i love makeup so just let me know be sure to follow me on snapchat instagram and twitter my handles will be down below and i think that's all y'all thank you for watching and i'll see you next time